Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video is my top picks for men's fragrances for the summer. These are my absolute hands down favorite fragrances to smell on men in the summer. We're gonna start with number 10, and it is Prada Luna Rosa Sport. I don't know why they call this fragrance sport. I've mentioned this in previous videos. This does not smell like a sporty fragrance. This is a very sensual, almost a little bit sweet smelling fragrance. I'm gonna give it a spray. I splashed it all over my face. Okay, well, I guess my face is gonna smell like Prada Luna Rosa Sport. It's not, not a bad thing. It has a really beautiful lavender note and it's mixed with vanilla and tonka and I think probably a little bit of citrus in here. Citrus or ginger, something that smells almost a little bit piney. It's really, really nice. It's a very sexy fragrance. I've heard it be compared to Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. I don't think it's anything like Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. This is really, really well balanced. And if anything, it reminds me more of Givenchy Pie. It has that same similar vanilla smell. And the only reason why it's on the number 10 spot is because I don't think it's exclusive for the summer. It really does shine in the warm weather, but it works perfectly all year round. So that is the only reason why it's on the number 10 spot. It's a really amazing men's fragrance. I don't think it gets enough credit. You guys really need to get your noses on this. It's amazing. Prada Luna Rosa Sport. On the number nine is a discontinued fragrance and this is Gucci Pour Homme 2. I love this so much. This is a really beautiful violet and cinnamon fragrance with tea. It's very, very unique smelling. There's nothing quite like it. It's very creamy and spicy at the same time. It has an interesting green note. There's also tobacco in here, which smells like that fresh tobacco. Like if you take a fresh cigar that hasn't been lit, just like that fresh tobacco smell, it's really in here as well. You can really notice it. But for me, it's more about the cinnamon and the tea and violet. That's mostly what I smell. It's quite unique. I haven't really smelled anything like this. I heard that a dupe for it is Hane Mori Him. I went and I got it at Rexall, which is our local pharmacy here. And, it, and I had to go and return it because it really, it wasn't even close. Like it didn't compare. It smelled quite generic. So for all of you wondering if, oh, if you heard that click, that's my ankle. Uh, my ankle does this weird clicking sound. Anyway, um, yeah, the Hane Mori Him, it's really just like a really generic smelling. So for you guys wondering if it's worth it to go for that potential like dupe, it's not a dupe, it doesn't smell like it, and don't waste your money on that. If you can get this, I recently got this as a tester bottle. I paid just over $100 for this, which I think was really worth it. And yeah, it just I love it. I think it's a really great fresh kind of spring and summer fragrance for men. It's very unique. So yeah, if you guys can find this, go for this. If you own it, please wear it. And it's on my number nine spot. Number eight is a cheapy but a goodie. And it is none other than Fresh water from Bath and Body Works. I know, right? It's so weird. Why am I talking to you guys about a Bath and Body Works fragrance? Am I even legit? I don't know, but it's really good. This has a very distinct citrus, a very distinct bergamot. There's oak moss. It adds that sort of like fizziness to it and just aquatic notes. Like it's a really nice aquatic. For the price, it's amazing. There's really nothing quite like this for the price. If you want a good cheapie, like just don't think about it, just go for this. It's a great summer aquatic that's just just the right amount unique. I can, I swear I can almost smell juniper in here. I don't know why, but I smell something that's almost piney. I guess it's the way that the oak moss combines with the other notes. It's a decent longevity as well. Like I'm surprised the um, Bath and Body Works fragrances for men longevity wise really aren't that bad they are actually like for the price point especially if you get them on sale they're really worth it i got this i think i got this in november at the black friday sale and i think it was like 20 bucks it worked out to 20 bucks for 20 bucks it's a steal it's amazing i don't know why nobody talks about this it's a hidden gem go for this it actually reminds me a little bit of pacific rock moss which brings me to my number seven which is Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. Now I only have a teeny tiny little sample that I got from Etiquette. It's uh, 
it's a store here in Canada. It's based in Montreal. So I did put it on my hand earlier. I can still smell it, but I'm going to apply it again. I hate these little dabber things. They're so difficult to use and tiny. Like, who is this made for? What is this? A center for ants! It has this, like, warm saltiness that you smell in wood sage and sea salt, but it's more masculine. It's a really nice aquatic a really really nice scent it's just expensive it's really expensive and it doesn't last very long but if you have the money to spend and you want a great summer fragrance pacific rock moss is really outstanding i really love wood sage and sea salt i like to wear it myself this is like the masculine counterpart of that this i don't think i would personally wear as much but it is it is very very similar if you like wood sage and sea salt you will definitely like pacific rock moss for sure like i guarantee it this does last longer then wood sage and sea salt that one's a cologne and i'm just like heartbroken about the lack of longevity on that but that's a whole different story pacific rock moss is better it projects a decent amount and yeah if you have like 200 bucks to spend on a fragrance and you want a really good summer aquatic that's unique just go for pacific rock moss i might actually go and get a full bottle of that myself i draw the line at about 200 250 a bottle i just don't like to spend more than 200 for a bottle or you know if it's one that i know i'm gonna wear for sure i'll spend 250 max i don't want to spend more i really really don't that whole spiel to bring me to the next fragrance which is amouage reflection man which i only have a fragrance oil of i know i know i'm a fake and a phony and i'm not a true frag head blah 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 because i don't have the real fragrance I don't care. I'm not going to be spending over $200 on a fragrance that I personally will not wear. The fragrance oil smells identical, so you guys can go and shell out $200 for a bottle if you wish. But for me personally, I'm good with the oil because it's not one that I personally wear a lot. And I had a sample, smells identical. So don't even argue with me in the comments about this. I don't want to hear it. Don't even. I love the rosemary note in here. The way that that rosemary comes out with notes like neroli and sandalwood. And there's even jasmine in here, which is interesting because typically that's a feminine note. But in here, it works perfectly. And there's a nice rooty vetiver and musk, like a really nice musky smell. It's perfect for the summer. It's a really nice herbaceous masculine scent. I love it. And whether you get the oil or the real thing, they're equally as good. Since I've already dipped a toe in fragrance oils, let's go with the next one. And it's Silver Mountain Water, which I also have a fragrance oil of. But also I have a spray formulation dupe, which is called Virgion. And again, sticking to my point of not wanting to spend more than $200 or $250 on a fragrance. That's just how I am, okay? I'm a little cheap. Oh well. This is such a good fragrance. It opens up with this like burst of citrus. There's a really nice bergamot. Like you could pick up that bergamot right away. It smells like the kind of bergamot in Earl Grey tea. Think of a really expensive good Earl Grey tea that's just been infused with that bergamot oil. That's what this smells like. There's mandarin as well. There's a really juicy black currant in here and a clean musk. I don't know if it's just because I'm pulling from the name that has mountain in it because I'm really not that creative, but it's just what it smells like to me. It smells like very clean, crisp, fresh mountain air, and it's a really nice summer fragrance. I think this is spring summer exclusive. I don't think it would work as well in the cooler months, but it works perfectly in the summer, and it's a really interesting, fresh scent for men. I really like Silver Mountain Water by Creed. Next is YSLY, and I only have the Eau de Toilette that I dropped on the floor, but I do personally prefer the Eau de Parfum. I just don't have the bottle yet. I have only the Eau de Toilette. It smells similar, but lighter, but the Eau de Parfum is more refined and more well-rounded. I do recommend the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette, even though I know it's sold out a lot these days and for good reason. It has a really juicy apple note. It's a really, really nice apple note. There's sage, there's ginger. One of my favorite new releases, especially from YSL. Like they really hit the nail on the head with this one. It's a really great fresh masculine scent, really sexy too, really attractive scent for the summer. 
I prefer this over Aqua Di Gio Profumo. I prefer this over Dylan Blue or Versace Eros. This is way better, way more unique, way more refined. And yeah, they just, they did a great job on this. Being a YSL fan, as you may have noticed, my next is Lum. I've talked about this a bunch of times. I'm not gonna go into it in much more depth. I love it. This is, this is perfect for all year round, but it really, really shines in the summer. And I just, I love the violet in here. It's so warm, it's so welcoming. I'm just gonna spray it in the air because I love it so much. I wanna be close to the person wearing this. I wanna be like hugging the person wearing this and snugging the person wearing this. It's just such a beautiful, sexy men's fragrance. It's got some really interesting spices in here too. There's definitely ginger, but there's also like a mix of spices that I can't quite distinguish. I'm pretty sure there's cardamom in here. I really like cardamom and it smells like there's cardamom in here as well. It's just, it's fresh, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's really welcoming, it's perfect for the summer. So that is on my number two spot, Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme. You never can go wrong with L'Homme. Guys, remember that forever. You never can go wrong with L'Homme. And number one is Chanel Allure um, Sport. I also really like Eau Extreme and I have a bottle of Eau Extreme, but for the summer specifically, just the original Chanel Allure um, Sport. So just this little sprayer that I have. It's a really good sprayer on this. This has those beautiful Chanel aldehydes. They're a little bit bitter, a little bit soapy. They smell like soap bubbles mixed with citrus, a really nice juicy, creamy mandarin note in here. A really beautiful aquatic, like this just, this just shines. This is perfect for the summer, specifically for the summer. I wouldn't wear this or recommend it for fall or winter at all because it wouldn't last and it really wouldn't stand out. The citrus that's in here and the aquatic notes that are in here, they are perfect for the summer. This is a great dumb reach fragrance. It's perfect for any occasion in the warmer weather. It's great for a date. It's great for the office. It's great really for anything. That's why it's my number one. I would never get tired of smelling this. I'm a Chanel girl. You guys know this. I love all Chanel fragrances and there's really not much more I can say about it. It's a timeless classic. It's one of my absolute favorites and it's my number one summer fragrance for men. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and let me know what your favorite summer fragrance is. What are you guys reaching for? What should I try that I haven't tried yet? Please let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.